When using the MetaQuest 2 for productivity, you can use the Logitech K830 that can be tracked in VR to make it easier to type. The MetaQuest 2 has now included the Apple Magic Keyboard and the Apple MacBook Pro that can be tracked as well. In this video, I'm going to show you what tracking looks like in Horizon Workrooms Beta by Meta. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm Ryan and this is the Elevate Project. Helping professionals like you working from home with home office tech and to be more confident and engaging delivering online presentations. Now we're going to be going back into VR using the MetaQuest 2 and revisiting Horizon Workrooms, which is still in beta at the time of recording. Horizon Workrooms has updated the different types of keyboards that can be tracked. At one point, there was only the Logitech K830 that was compatible. I don't have the Logitech K830, but I do have an Apple MacBook Pro 2016 and I have an Apple Magic Keyboard. So we're going to see how this can impact productivity working in Horizon Workrooms. All right, everyone, it looks like we are back into the metaverse. As you remember in my last video, when you enter Horizon Workrooms, you spawn into this, I want to say, infinite office. As you can see, there's nothing here. I can go into the Titans test room. That's the test room where you can have the whiteboard, etc. For the specific tracking that we're doing, it's going to be the same. So we're going to stay here in the infinite office. And what we're going to do is go to settings. And right now you have the avatar, desk, account. So we're going to go to a desk. And under tracking keyboard, we're going to choose the Apple Magic Keyboard. As we do this, you select which kind of keyboard that you have. I have the American version, complete the setup. And then now it's going to be looking for the keyboard. So what it's going to depend on, my mic might be in the way, but it has to be in view uh, from the four cameras on the Oculus Quest 2. So what I'm going to do, just to make it easier, I'm just going to bring the keyboard up, see if it tracks it and there we go now it's tracking one thing that's really cool now that it can see the apple magic keyboard as i put my hands on the keyboard it has kind of this pass through where i can see my hands so what's nice about this is now i don't have to look down i can see that's f3 f4 etc so as i go into my computer and here we go I can kind of type away and of course it has the tracking. Again, I might have my mic in the way here, but it does has to be, it has to be in view to, in order to track the keyboard, the four cameras on the Oculus Quest 2. So that's fairly neat. Now what you can do as well is you can grab your controller and opt for the desk pass through. So I like this feature because not only can I see where my mouse is, my controllers if I need to access them, but because it's tracking the Apple Magic Keyboard, I can still see the letters. Now I'll show you what it looks like if it's not tracking the Apple Magic Keyboard. So if I go to settings and I turn this off and just go to my keyboard isn't listed, you're gonna notice now now, when I look down to the keyboard, yes, it's got the pass through, but now it doesn't clearly indicate the, the keys, the letters, F3, F4, etc. So that's one of the key differences, and I think this is going to be super helpful. It is in beta version right now, so I'm sure there is going to be some sort of improvement either in the hardware, maybe the Oculus Quest 3, or the software so this can be really usable and what's nice because Horizon Workrooms is created by Meta you'll be able to use this keyboard even in the home of the of the MetaQuest 2 so what i mean by that if you're using the the MetaQuest browser you'll be able to use this keyboard and we'll track it wherever you are so that's a sneak peek this is how what tracking the Apple Magic keyboard is like I'm just gonna turn off pass through so you can see there is the keyboard. And again, when I put my hand, it has that pass through so it makes it easier to see all the individual keys. So which is really, really nice. Okay, so we're gonna try this with the 
Apple MacBook Pro, as indicated as one of the options for track keyboards. Okay, now we are back into Horizon Workrooms again, same scenario. The only difference is I'm gonna be connecting to my MacBook Pro and see how tracking with the keyboard is like there. So before I go into it, let's gonna go into settings and we're gonna track keyboard and this time choose the Apple MacBook Pro. I'm gonna say it's the 15 inch, continue, and for those of you, the specs on my MacBook Pro is a 2016 version with touch bar. Again, I'm gonna be choosing the American version to continue and it's space gray to complete the setup and boom, right away. Now, I am gonna say that this was a lot quicker to track. So maybe because it's a bigger computer that it's tracking, it's looking for that color, that space gray. But again, as soon as I put my hands over the keyboard, it does that pass through. This time though, I can really see the keyboard. It's a lot clearer. So this is very impressive. Again, just like I showed you with the other demonstration, if I wanted to, I can go and just click on the pass through where you can see the computer. But as you can see here, you can still see the letters and the numbers that's more prominent. With this instance, I would probably turn the desk pass through off. I think this is really, really good, especially if you're gonna be using the mouse of the key of the computer versus an external mouse. So now let's just see how this looks when we turn our computer on. So now I have my computer, I'm just gonna make it into a bigger screen. So this is really workable. I really like the setup for the MacBook Pro. I think this really defines working in VR anywhere, any place. Unlike my desktop computer where I'm stuck in my office, because I have this keyboard and I'm using it on a laptop, or in this instance, the MacBook Pro, it makes it much easier to take this to the kitchen, somewhere else in the home, or even if I was so bold, take this to a coffee shop like Starbucks and have a bigger screen than my 15 inch screen that I have right now. So in typing, I'm just gonna say, hey, welcome to Word. So I'm gonna have to say that compared to the two, I like the, the tracking of the keyboard on the MacBook Pro better than the Magic Keyboard. And I'm not sure because maybe it's tracking more of the surface area of the MacBook Pro, which is larger, versus the Apple Magic Keyboard, which is a smaller, smaller device. So that being said, this is a quick view of what this looks like in VR. Again, I am gonna remind everyone that this is a beta version of Horizon Workroom. I'm sure that they are going to make some improvements than that we've seen here, but I will say the tracking for the Apple MacBook Pro is pretty good in comparison to the demonstration that we just showed you with the Apple Magic Keyboard. Is this perfect? No. But with software and hardware updates, I know that it will get better. Color pass-through would be very helpful. And that being said, this is a better tracking than other programs right now at the time of this recording, even versus my favorite productivity app in VR, Immersed. Immersed has let me know that there will be keyboard tracking improvements coming soon and might be available now depending when you're watching this. Horizon Workrooms is currently in beta, so I am sure there are lots of feedback when it comes to keyboard tracking to stay immersed in VR without taking the headset off just to view your keyboard. If you found value in this video, hit that like button. It really helps the channel and consider subscribing. It lets me know to make more content like this one. If you have thoughts and comments about keyboard tracking in VR, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.